So if we go to the edit menu with the master and to settings, and then we want to jump to the tab covering bearings. And then right down at the bottom, this is what you'll initially see, a section for SKF bearing module and the ability to enable the SKF module selection. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to actually create an account. Uh, so there's a button here which will take you to the associated website. And it's a simple one minute registration process where you input some of your uh, your name, your company name, your email address, that kind of information. And then they'll just ask you to verify using that email address. Once you've created that account, you enter your email address and your password into these boxes here and click on the authenticate button. And that will actually just ensure that you have the associated account linked to your master version. So once you've actually entered these details, if you click on authenticate, it will send that information to SKF and confirm that you have the right sign in details. So is the, if the SKF module is enabled, master will request results for all qualifying bearings at the end of running a system deflection analysis. So these results can be seen in the in a new default report titled SKF module result uh, SKF module reports. So to start off with on the root assembly with a load case selected. So if I want to look at some overall uh, quite general results for our bearings, I can go to the bearing section of this report. And you'll see as a summary as a summary of all the bearings in the model, for all the ones that are applicable, so all the ones that are SKF bearings, uh, I have this column on the right hand side showing SKF module results. And it will show me some general results for those applicable bearings. If I want to look at these in a little bit more detail, as always, I can just click on the link in the table to jump straight to that bearing. And then what we will notice is that there's a couple of new tables in this report format. So this is a report that you will see whenever you have a bearing selected and a load case selected. And we'll see that we have two new entries, which are SKF module results and SKF module warnings. So clicking on those, on the right hand side, I can see all of my SKF module results. These won't appear for any non-applicable bearings. And underneath we have any warnings that have been returned from that SKF module. So if there is anything that it's uh, struggling to do or something that sits outside of its calculation range, it will give you a warning and hopefully give you some indication as to whether or not this needs to be remedied before you can trust the results. So a bit of information on the data that's actually received from SKF. So a calculation with the SKF bearing module enables the following results to be seen. So for most SKF bearings, we will see the following bearing performance results uh, calculated by the SKF cloud service. So we're looking at results such as the rating life, the SKF rating life, the basic rating life, the equivalent dynamic bearing load, the CP value, the viscosity ratio, contamination factor, life modification factor, friction values, grease life or re-lubrication interval, the minimum load, the static safety factor and bearing frequencies. And all of these will be returned from the SKF service.